our Mass today is being offered for the repose of the souls of Ignatius J. Mascura, Jr. and Helen Mascura by Nancy Mascura. We also ask that everyone please keep in your prayers um, Patrick, Brandon, Irene, Corey, Christine, I think it's Tony. Um, we remember all of the people in our parish prayer list, all of those who are suffering from the coronavirus, and all of those who are suffering from the effects of the pandemic. And we are continuing to pray for our country uh, in these coming days. Let us together recite our entrance antiphon. Upon a lofty throne, I saw a man seated, whom a host of angels adore, singing in unison. Behold him, the name of whose empire is eternal. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raised the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, we pray, that they may see what must be done and gain strength to do what they have seen. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Since the children share in blood and flesh, Jesus likewise shared in them, that through death he might destroy the one who has the power of death, that is, the devil, and free those who through fear of death had been subject to slavery all their life. Surely he did not help angels, but rather the descendants of Abraham. Therefore he had to become like his brothers and sisters in every way, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest before God to expiate the sins of the people. Because he himself was tested through what he suffered, he is able to help those who are being tested. The word of the Lord. Be to God. Our response, the Lord remembers his covenant forever. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Give thanks to the Lord, invoke his name, make known among the nations his deeds. Sing to him, sing his praise, proclaim all his wondrous deeds. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Glory in his holy name. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones, he, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth, his judgments prevail. 
the Lord remembers his covenant forever. He remembers forever his covenant, which he made binding for a thousand generations, which he entered into with Abraham and by his oath to Isaac. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. On leaving the synagogue, Jesus entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. Simon's mother-in-law lay sick with a fever. They immediately told him about her. He approached, grasped her hand and helped her up. Then the fever left her and she waited on them. When it was evening after sunset, they brought to him all who were ill or possessed by demons. The whole town was gathered at the door. He cured many who were sick with various diseases and he drove out many demons not permitting them to speak because they knew him. Rising very early before dawn, he left and went off to a deserted place where he prayed. Simon and those who were with him pursued him and on finding him said, everyone is looking for you. He told them, let us go on to the nearby villages that I may preach there also. For this purpose have I come. So he went into their synagogues, preaching and driving out demons throughout the whole of Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Again, we are reading through the letter to the Hebrews. It is a meditation on who Jesus is, on his mission, which means that it is also a meditation on who we are and on our mission. And today, I know I say I have favorite books of the Bible and I have favorite passages, and, and, and this is one of them. Uh, it, put things, it puts things into context first. Since children share in blood and flesh, Jesus likewise shared in them. In other words, we're united with him. He has compassion on us. He knows what we are going through. That through death, he might destroy the one who has the power of death, that is the devil, and free those who through fear of death have been subject to slavery all their life. We all are subject to slavery. During the pandemic, it might be a fear of physical death. I would hope that most Catholics, most Christians, would have enough faith to not fear physical death. I think on a day-to-day -day basis, there is another kind of death that we face, or that we fear, or that holds us in slavery, the bondage of slavery. And that would be the bondage of self, my ego, or my pride, or, um, or my fears, my resentments. If we allow these things to hold us, they enslave us, and it is a fear of death. If I think that people do not, you know, give me enough honor as a priest, I am going to be held in bondage to that. If I think that uh, something bad is going to happen, 
that holds me in bondage and I cannot be free. And Jesus comes that we might be free. We might have liberty from these things that hold us in bondage. But we must. This is important. We must be willing to ask the Lord to free us from these things. We must cooperate with him. We must let go of these things. And if you're anything like me, say, all right, Jesus, I want to be free of this. I give it to you. And then five minutes later, give that back. <laughs> this is not a one and done. We need to acknowledge that we have been held in bondage by different issues or problems, and, and it'll be different for each person. But Jesus came to free us from those. We have to let go of them. It is an act of faith. Jesus, in our gospel, he cures many people, and he casts out many demons, not permitting them to speak because they knew him. It's not enough that I have a knowledge of Jesus. I have to have a love of Jesus. I need to have a heart that's gonna open up and receive Jesus' love, because he will not free me from the bondage if I am keeping him out, if I am hardening my heart. And so when we say that we have faith in Jesus, it means that we are faithful that means giving it away again and again. If we say we trust in Jesus, it means that we entrust our lives to him. It is not enough to simply know him. The demons do that, but they don't worship him. They don't trust him. They don't have faith in him. They don't love him. We are called to do the opposite, to know him, but to love him and to worship him, and to trust him, and to put our faith in him. In that way, we will be free from that bondage of self, or I guess you could say bondage of society, or any of these other bondages that hold us in. But we need to say yes. We need to say yes in our hearts, in our minds, and we need to do that in our life. giving thanks to the Father for sending his Son, Jesus, we bring our prayers before him. That all leaders of the church may guide the church to know and love and to trust Jesus, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the peoples of the nations, that we will come to know the love that God has for us, and we might express that in love for each other, we pray. For all those who are alone, for all those who have no family, for all those who were isolated by the pandemic, that they might be free of any bondage that this might hold them in, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are sick or suffering, from the pandemic or from other ailments, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. And for all of those who have died and gone before us, we remember Ignatius J. Miscura Jr., Helen Miscura, and all those who have died and have no one else to pray for them, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, we give you thanks for the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Send your Holy Spirit to build up our faith and our hope so that all our actions may shine forth your love 
And we ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. <clears throat> Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity. Cleanse me from all of my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May your people's oblation, O Lord, find favor with you, we pray, that it may restore them to holiness and obtain what they devoutly entreat through Christ our Lord, Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just that we should always give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you do not cease to spur us on to possess a more abundant life. And being rich in mercy, you constantly offer pardon and call on sinners to trust in your forgiveness alone. Never did you turn away from us. And though time and again we have broken your covenant, you have bound the human family to yourself through Jesus, your Son, our Redeemer, with a new bond of love so tight that it can never be undone. Even now, you set before your people a time of grace and reconciliation. And as they turn back to you in spirit, you grant them hope in Christ Jesus and a desire to be of service to all while they entrust themselves more fully to the Holy Spirit. And so, filled with wonder, we extol the power of your love, and proclaiming our joy at the salvation that comes from you, we join in the heavenly hymn of countless hosts, as without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and from the world's beginning are ceaselessly at work so that the human race may become holy just as you yourself are holy. Look, we pray upon your people's offerings and pour out on them the power of your spirit that they may become the body and blood 
of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, in whom we too are your sons and daughters. Indeed, though we once were lost and could not approach you, you loved us with the greatest love. For your Son, who alone is just, handed himself over to death and did not disdain to be nailed for our sake to the wood of the cross. But before his arms were outstretched between heaven and earth to become the lasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. <clears throat> As he ate with them, he took the bread and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, knowing that he was about to reconcile all things to himself through his blood to be shed on the cross, he took the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine and once more, giving you thanks, handed the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and our surest peace, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead, and looking forward to his blessed coming, we offer you, who are our faithful and merciful God, this sacrificial victim who reconciles to you the human race. Look kindly, most compassionate Father, on those you unite to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit as they partake of this one bread and one chalice, they may be gathered into one body in Christ who heals every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart, together with Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our bishop, help us work together for the coming of your kingdom until the hour when we stand before you, saints among the saints in the halls of heaven, with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed apostles and all the saints, and with our deceased brothers and sisters, whom we humbly commend to your mercy. Then, freed at last from the wound of corruption and made fully into a new creation, we shall sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ, who lives for all eternity. <clears throat> Through 
him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. <clears throat> May we see you through my Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me to judgment and condemnation, but through your love and mercy. Leave me protection and life to the Lord. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Our communion antiphon. I have come that they may have life and have it more abundantly, says the Lord. Let us pray. Humbly we ask you, Almighty God, be graciously pleased to grant that those you renew with your sacraments 
may also serve with lives pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. <clears throat>